So one of the other big requests for me to do was to read the Sims patch notes. And looking at them now, I can see why. So let's go ahead and read some of these. 2009 patch notes. Fix for babysitter routing off lots with babies. Fix for a freeze that can occur when Sims attempt to clean out bad food from the fridge. Babies will no longer be born to single parents. Oof. Reduce the urge for neat Sims to put away five pits. Sims can no longer interview non-playable ghosts. Sims no longer have the rare chance of getting permanently stuck while socializing. Oh, God. Become enemies of child, which no longer appears. Prevented a case where toddlers were allowed to escape a lot and wander freely. Eating specific prepared meals no longer has an impact on unborn babies. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fish are no longer duplicated in the fridge when moving homes. I didn't even know that was a glitch. Televisions no longer play video after they are burnt or broken. I mean, <laughs> that sounds right. Sims can no longer try for baby with the <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Why are these patches? Okay, this is 2009. Let's do, let's do 2010. It's a, it's a few of them. <clears throat> Fixes a bug that causes Sims to teleport off some of the new beds in SP01. <laughs> okay. Fixes an issue that causes Sims to get stuck in the grab a slice interaction on a pizza. I mean. That's not a glitch. You gotta cherish that moment when you grab that pizza, you know what I mean? Fixes an issue that prevents the fulfillment of the buy a video game system wish when buying the Guga? GOGA Joy Toy 3 and Console 7 video game systems. Eh. Sims may now walk and stand on bridges. I mean, that was a problem before. Dead relatives will no longer appear alive in your Sims family tree while traveling to Egypt, China, or France. Oof, okay. Fire engines will now maintain all functionality after Sims drive them in Egypt, China, or France. <laughs> that was an issue? Okay. Fixed an it. Why? Fixed an issue that caused Sim relationships to break when traveling to Egypt, China, or France. Why? Why there's so many glitches in these three countries? I don't understand. <laughs> okay. Sims will no longer walk on water to view paintings placed on swimming pool walls. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> I would love to see that scenario. Like, hey, John, check out that new painting I put it across the swimming pool. All right, let me just go over there. John, are you, are you walking on water? Oh my god. Oh, okay. All right, okay, okay, okay. Fix an issue where ghosts could become stuck in vehicles under certain conditions. Ghosts will now properly exit vehicles after arriving at their destination. Okay. <laughs> could the ghosts just not fly? Why are they getting in a car? Oh, God. Why? All right. 2011 is the last one for this. Okay. I'll do more. I'll definitely do more because these are fucking hysterical. But <laughs> 2011. Toddlers can no longer get leaves. <laughs> Why was that a problem? <laughs> Baby Sims will no longer become stuck on a Sim's hand while driving a car. <laughs> good. Good. That's a good patch. When adopting a dog, you will now be shown whether the dog is a little dog or a large dog. That's actually a really good patch now. You want your big dog or you want your small dog? Babies and toddlers will no longer go into a frozen state when a social worker comes to take them when they're being pushed in strollers. Wow! Okay, okay, okay. Sims that have been turned into a ghost will no longer receive an extra diploma. Come on, man. I want my bachelor's degree in ghosts. Don't take it away from me. The throw a teen party wish will no longer appear while a teen party is already planned. No. I want two teen parties. I want two. I want this one and I want a teen after party. Let me have that one. Don't give me back that wish. <clears throat> Ghost Sims will now remain floating when returning from birth. <laughs> I have so many questions. Why is the ghost going to boarding 
skull. And why is that the factor in which it makes him float? Why? <laughs> oh my god, I'm fucking crying. <laughs> okay. Children and teens can no longer die from motive failure while on a timeout. <laughs> wow! I didn't even realize that children and teens could die in The Sims. <laughs> what the fuck? God, Skyrim doesn't even let the kids die. Okay. An issue has been fixed that causes unicorns to lose their special powers when using a make-all-happy cheat. Oh. Now oh, they're just a goofy horse with a horn. That's sad. Okay. Two more. Two more. An error that causes Sims to reset when scooping a dead fish out of an aquarium has been fixed. I mean, I like fishes. I never imagined that I would glitch out so hard I would have to reset my whole life for a dead fish. But okay. All right. Last one. Make it a good one. Sims who are on fire will no longer be forced to attend graduation before they can put themselves out. <laughs> I couldn't even make it through. I immediately started thinking, like, in this day and age, how stressful it is to get a college degree. You could actually be on fire, and you'd be like, no, nah, man, I gotta get this degree, because fuck it, I have already spent, like, $120,000 to go to college. I want this piece of paper in my hand. Put me out later. I want my degree in business administration. Just let me have it. Oh, wow. That was a journey. Wow, I'm still fucking crying. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely reading more of these. These God, these are just so funny. Oh, and I know there was more patches for 2010 and 2011. I'm going to read more of those. But hopefully the next one will be the rest of those. And it will jump to like 2012 and 2013. Because I can only imagine things get more ridiculous from there. <laughs> okay. I'm going to grab a drink. Throat hurts from laughing too hard. Bye, guys. Hey everybody, welcome back to more reading Sims patch notes. Now I know in a couple of the comments people were requesting, hey, you should do face cam with these. So we're gonna do that, that, sh that should be fun. So let's take a look, cause I know there's a bunch of 2010 ones that I missed and then we're gonna jump to 2012 and 2013, I believe for today. So here we go. <clears throat> the remainder of the 2010 Sim patch notes. Sims that catch on fire from the invention workstation can now have the fire put out when the firefighters are called. I mean, yeah, it's they gotta do their job finally. <laughs> what is the second? What is the second one? Oh my god, okay. The magical laundry bear, Abracadabra, will no longer block Sims from moving after disappearing. <laughs> it's still a bear! Of course, it's gonna block you. Are you really gonna try to go up against a bear? Even one that's magical? A magical bear named Abracadabra? You're gonna try to fight that? I don't think so. Pianists will no longer continue playing pianos that have been dead. <laughs> Can you imagine that hardcore pianist right there? It's like, sir, the, the, the piano is destroyed, you can't play it. I must play. Because what I have to do, my hands are just made like this already, I can't stop. Th this patch is for Mac only. This one's for Mac only. Mac only, swimming in a pool inside a high-rise building will no longer cause a sim's plumbob to become visible. What is a plumbob? Is that a... Is that a reference to something? Are they talking about private parts? Don't, don't show your plumbob in a pool, that's not... Sims will no longer receive a wish to skinny <laughs> Skinny dip with bodies. <laughs> oh my god. No. Why? Who wants to do that? You're swimming with corpses. You're gonna get an infection in all the wrong places. Don't skinny dip with mummies, even in a video game. Pregnant Sims can no longer brawl. 
Well, I mean, that's probably a good thing, because then they'll realize that the Wii is the crappiest one of all. Uh -huh. Super Smash Brothers joke. No, but seriously, pregnant women should never fight, ever. Sims that drown while skinny dipping will now spin into their clothes while interacting with the Grim Reaper. What? What? Let me read that one again. Maybe slowly, because I'm trying to figure that one out. Sims that drown while skinny dipping will now spin into their clothes while interacting with the Grim Reaper. So... So they patched in a glitch? Is that what they're trying to tell me? Are they just trying to be funny? I mean... I need a moment here. How's that? How's that one work? I feel like the guy who um, who realized that a pound of metal and a pound of feathers weigh the same. Let's move on. Fixed an issue that made Sims disappear from the world when exiting the carpool on their way to work. I mean, yeah. I would like to disappear from the world when I had to go to a day job, so I don't blame that sim for just disappearing from the world. He just noped out of there. We have one more for 2010. All right. Fixed an issue that caused sims to leave their toddler inside a bar at closing time. Well, aren't they just gunning for parent of the year? Not only did they leave their child in a bar, they brought the child into the bar in the first place. So, grade A parenting. All right, let's move on to 2012. Okay, this one's very small. I don't know why the 2012 one is so small, but they're, they're good ones. They're very good ones. 2012, fix an issue where fish placed in the Sims inventory will no longer disappear when Sims travel back from a vacation world. Not just a vacation spot, a vacation world. We're hitting Rick and Morty level with these ones, folks. Fairy children will no longer stretch into adult size when using the talk to plant interaction. I mean, fixed an issue with conversion spells turning inexpensive items into expensive items. I want that spell. Don't take that away from me. I would love to take junk and make it valuable and then sell it. Like if I could take like my mom's crappy, like really old iPhone and turn it into an iPhone X, that is an amazing spell. Don't take that away from me. I want that. Let's move on to 2013. Sims will no longer occasionally flip or stutter when trying to walk through doorways. I mean, if uh, if there was somebody on the other side of the door that I really didn't want to talk to, of course I would try to flip or stutter my way out of there. So I don't blame a Sim. Why would you take that patchway? Fixed an issue where Sims could not collect space rocks. Several questions. What's your sim doing in space? How did a sim get to space? And why does he? Why did he not have the ability to collect space rocks before? Is there a patch that I didn't know about? What? The time portal will no longer disappear when traveling to the future. Thank God. You imagine being thrown into the future and having the time portal just go. I freak the hell out. Especially if it's a future where, like, everything bad happened. Which is probably the future we're heading to, but moving on! Sims that skip class activities or lecture halls will no longer have their needs frozen. Did I read that weird? Hang on, let me try that again. Sims that skip class activities or lecture halls will no longer have their needs frozen. Now, I, I get it's probably a game term where, like, you can't like fulfill certain desires or wants for a kid just because you know they broke the rules but why use the term frozen i feel like there's just this person who's just like mr smith i i i'm sorry i skipped class today but i'm so hungry too late i froze your stomach you can no longer eat or digest anything it's terrifying don't ever do that 
Child Sims will no longer play in sand indoors when there is no sand. Hmm. Well, Gara's gonna be upset about that one. Alien abductions have been disabled on houseboats if the player has the Sims 3 Island Paradise installed. <laughs> I know that shouldn't be intentionally funny. That is like the biggest DLC cop-out I have ever seen in my entire life. Clearly, now this is now obviously where Electronic Arts was like, well, we can get away with everything now. To avoid alien abduction, you need to get the Sims 3 Island Paradise package installed into your game. Think about that one for a second, and then try not to just immediately walk out into the shore with your Sims character. Fixed an issue with the underwater cave where the tentacles waved forever, preventing Sims from entering the cave. <laughs> I know that doesn't sound amusing, but I would love it if it gets to a point where people just realize the tentacles are just really just trying to say hi to everybody. They're like, hi! Please enter my cave! I know I'm blocking it, but you can at least try. The tentacles are friendly. They won't try to enter certain orifices, I swear. Self-employed Sims can now check into resorts without the game freezing. Well, I mean, I would like to just stay in a resort forever. I don't care if the game, my life freezes when I check in. Because technically I'm self-employed. So can I just go to a resort right now and then just have all the universe freeze? That'd be awesome. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm going to do that. Sims can now relax on floor tiles. Sims can now relax on floor tiles. Sims can now relax on floor tiles. Have you ever relaxed on a floor tile? You can't. When you hit, like, late 20s, laying on anything flat and hard hurts all of your bones. Don't relax on floor tiles, please. Don't make your Sims relax on floor tiles. I'm begging you, just for the sake of my bones and your future bones, if you haven't reached that age yet, don't do it. The Murphy bed... <laughs> has been made less lethal. I get it's supposed to be a play on Murphy's Law, but I love the idea that this bed was extremely lethal before. Like, it was just filled with, like, knives and old needles and napalm, and now it's just like, well, we took out the knives, so it stabs you less when you're lying down on it now. So it's quite relaxing. That's beautiful. All right, last one for the day. Mermaid children can now take showers well i mean yeah i shouldn't have taken that away to begin with like i get they're, they're mermaid children they can go swim in the water but have you smelt a fish when it's gotten really dirty so imagine like human bio mixed with fish tank combined on a small child that has probably been running around for 18 plus hours just covered in sweat and dirt and grime and Depending on where you lived in the country, smog is gross. Please let your mermaid children take a shower. That's all I'm asking. This has been a PSA. PM Seymour, let your mermaid children take a shower. <sighs> well, <laughs> this had me in less laughing fits, but it was definitely a lot more enjoyable to read them just because I didn't have to break down laughing because now I know what to expect. And I know there was a few people that bothered, were bothered by the fact that I was just constantly laughing the entire time. But now I know what's going to happen, so I'll be more prepared for when it comes time to read 2014 and beyond. So, I will see you guys in the next Sims patch reading. Bye! Well, hello dudes and dudettes, welcome back to another reading of Sims patch notes because it was heavily requested and I just... <sighs> Coffee. <clears throat> All right, let's do this shit. Declare nemesis. Undocumented. Magicians re-enabled. The magicians are back. Hide your bunnies! Food will no longer disappear when ordering from the hotel room service. Uh, yes, I ordered a burger and, um, it just poofed away. Yes, poofed away. Now this is like the third time I've ordered it. Sims will no longer gain fishing skill points while digging for treasure. Hey, sometimes a big mouth bass is somebody's treasure. Garden club members are now treated as townies. That's right. Just because you grow your own kale and throw it into your own soup doesn't make you special. 
Children will no longer go on a vacation alone if their parents die before Van arrives. <laughs> Come on, Billy. Let oh, 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 oh. Well, let's just push him, push him to the side a little bit. There we go. Just set her out of the road. Don't, don't want to lose anything else on them. All right, uh, the backup parent. Come here, come here, come here, come here. He's got to go on vacation. He's got to go on vacation. Parents or dads got to go on vacation. Sims will no longer spontaneously combust so easily. Hot tubs, exercise machines, etc. All right, let me just sit down in this hot tub here. It looks nice and relaxing and just going to have a good time. Oh, my God! Pets can now properly use helicopters to go to work with other Sims. The oven portion of the restaurant stove can no longer be used after food on it has been caught on fire. I'm sorry, sir. All of our oven goods are no longer on the menu tonight, as food in it has caught on fire. Throw my turkey in there! I'll eat it! Barista will no longer stop working after a sim notices it's raining or snowing. Good! I want my coffee! There we go, much better. Fixed a bug that could cause mummies cured of their mummy status to retain the mummy walk style. Uh... Greg, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. Uh, force of habit. Gameplay! Babies can't be invited to location. I'm sorry, little guy, but here at Club Location, we can't allow toddlers in the building. We, uh, we're doing a lot of juice and nectar and woohoos in here, you know what I'm saying? This is preposterous! I was conceived in Club Location! Yeah. Sims no longer fall in love while chatting in a tent. Well, god damn it! There goes my rom-com camping screenplay! Player no longer receives become more muscular wish when their muscularity level is at maximum. But what does he want me to do? Like, break his pecs into six more abs? It just, it can't be done. And finally, because this one was so heavily requested, hang on, coffee sip. Let's do it. A meteor can hit a building, in which case everyone will run out before the collision. Those who do not exit the building will die. Sims automatically leave if a meteor is approaching. Unless it is a school in which children are not allowed to leave and will always die. What the fuck, God? Hey, 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 hey. I had nothing to do with that one. It wasn't me either. Then who did it? <gasps> the humans did it. Well, that last one was really fucked up. I can't even believe it seems got away with that one. Um, they should, uh... I hope that one's fixed. I don't like the idea of virtual children dying by meteor because they can't leave a school. It's so fucked up. All right, I'm gonna go finish my coffee and think about life for a while. Bye!